Hey y'all, so I'm come on to um show y'all this earring. This is my two um watercolor um cats and watercolor paper, 140 pounds. And this is this is the watercolor pad, Kent. 140 pounds. So, I come on to put this earring together real quick for you. I'm doing it. Um, I cut two so I can show you both ways in case I didn't explain it um, well or show it well um, for the first video for the project. So, this is me doing it again. So... I did not put any holes in this because it is a flag. And so I'm not sure if I want to put it together and then put the holes in the corner and put a chain on it. Or if I just want to hang it um, from one end. So I just left it bare for now. So we're going to start off by getting some Mod Podge on the paintbrush. This is the one I use. I like to use glossy. I do not like to use the matte one because if you're using matte and you put it on something that's shiny or glossy, it will make it dull. So I just dip my brush into the Mod Podge. Paint it on this. And then place the other one on top to tack up you can use as many layers as you want but two should be good I got too much water on the brush hold on uh oh water on my brush. And then I'll have to wait for it to tack up a little bit before I move on. mess up any finishes on any of your papers. I'm just putting the other one, the second earring together just while I'm waiting on that to tack. That's all I'm doing, putting another set together. All right, now this step is where we're building the earring or the pieces. We're doing individual pieces. That way, every, when once everything is put together on, this is like your base. So once everything is put together on your base, everything will be flat. There will be no layers. There will be no, you can run your hand across the top and not feel any bumps or whatever. Assuming you lay it correctly and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So with this first one, we're going to do the, um, let me check my reference, hold on. We are going to attempt to do the Jamaican flag. So I want to lay my X down. If I do my lay the X down first, it'll be easier to put the rest of the pieces in. So with that being said, just flip it over, tap some my podge onto the back of it. Now with um this, let me say, or you could just brush this. And then lay it down on there. Let me dry this brush off a little bit more. Let me 
can brush this down on here and then lay your piece down instead of having to brush it on that little piece. And then after I get it down, I'll tell you what I was about to tell you. So, let me get that brushed on. Just fix this to your corners and go ahead and push it down. You want to work fast while it's wet. And you can start adding your other pieces and push them down. Make sure everything lines up perfectly. I have to tap a little bit more because it'll start to set up pretty quick. Okay. Make sure everything is pushed down good so it can stick well. You take your white and put it over the top and it'll give that any of that excess glue. Now, what I was saying is for the gold here, I use the the disco the disco paper. The disco glitter bar with that mesh in it but if you want to get more like true to color because you um you know you're not gonna find a um a glitter paper that is exact you could you could use this glitter paper if you want to if you wanted to you could use this one so it has different you can see that yeah you can use that one if you want it to be a different yellow or or just stick with the gold i think i think that looks good i think that looks good so again after you get it together and everything dries or whatever you can decide if you want to add um you can put um one of these colors on the back if you want to or you can just flip it over and do this same pattern on the back as well that's up to you however you want to do it if you do double double sided that for me that would be an upcharge because it's, it's more work but you could always just put green on the back black on the back or that gold on the back whatever you want to do and then you could decide if you want to put put the holes in in it on the corners in the gold and put two holes and i would use get yourself a pair of these fiscars there it's a one eight inch hole so i don't know if you can see in there see that but it's it makes a small hole so you can get a pair of those and you can put a hole on each corner and you can put some chain on it or whatever this, this is something you could just go all out with and people will because it's glitter it will catch people's eyes something different or you could just put it um hole here and hang it totally up to you totally up to you now let's put together another one so i have my two pieces here Dip it in my glue. And there, layer the next layer. This is gonna be a flag as well. Now, the difference with this flag
is we're going to use one of the colors as a whole the same size as, as these um, pieces here so we don't have to piece every piece in we just piece the first piece in the main piece the background color and then everything else will piece will um be glued on top so this is kind of like layers whereas with this one you just run your finger if you see that it's just straight down it's flat it's flat so with this one we're gonna you can use two layers or three layers or four layers how many ever layers you want to use that's totally up to you We get some glue down on that and then we take the let me get a little bit more your base color or your background color whichever color you're going to use for your background color and which i'm using this white and we just place it down it's the same size as the cardstock i mean or the watercolor paper or if you want to use cardstock, you can use cardstock. If you use cardstock, you can use white, black, whatever you want to use, any color you want to use. But if you use cardstock, you need to make sure you use at least um, the cardstock that is at least 110 pounds. Anything less, those 65 pound papers or 80 something or whatever they are, you will be end up having to do lots of layers. So got my black, I mean my white down. Now my next color I wanna add on is the blue. So let me, let me make sure. Okay. So with this, we'll have to actually put some Mod Podge on the back of each piece. Because again, we're not fitting anything in, we're layering on top. And you could do either way. You could, you could do this one just like I did the Jamaican flag, or you can um, do it like this. It's totally up to you. Whatever works best for you or whichever method you like the best. Sorry for the camera shake. It's up on the stand. So we have that down. Now we can put in our other pieces. to the back and then place it on top yep get it right to the edge and glue it down Push a little with your fingers. Make sure it fits properly. And then just push down with your wipe. That'll get the excess glue and it'll help you hold it in place. And our next piece, let's get some glue on the back of it. See with with um these just being two, my um fist guards it may go through it or it may not. If it doesn't, I have a Dremel to do my holes. But if you know that you want to do holes in the uh, if you know which way you want to hang these, then you can create your hole in the template. That way, Cricut to cut it out or silhouette whatever you're using to do your cutting. Your machine will cut it out for you. You don't have to fuss with it afterwards. So 
Okay, and the last piece. Puerto Rico. So that's it. So now, see, you didn't have to lay these extra white pieces. You just, it just shine, shows through the cutouts. So, and again, you can flip it over on the back. You can put red, you can put white, you could put the blue, whichever one you want. And then you see with this, if you can see, you barely can see it on here, but if you rub your fingers across, you could feel the layers. Whereas with the Jamaican flag, you just really can't feel the layers, only the texture of the glitter. So, yeah, make any flag you wanna make, make any design you wanna make, really. Just make it work for you. This is something new, something blingy. People like bling. They love it, they love it, they love it. And with the this flag here, because of the, the template I used to make the flag, the image that I used to make the flag, the template for this flag, it was shaped more um, rectangle. So if you can always um, make it wider just like this if you want it to. So that's why this one looks way smaller. It's the same size, 2.5 inch, but it's not as tall. So I like this one better. So I would probably, I'm gonna go in and change this template a little bit. But yeah, that's it guys. I hope this helps. I can't wait to see you all's projects. And see here, this, this one right here, there's a little bit over so maybe i didn't have it slid all the way up perfectly but i can take my cricut scissors and trim that a little trim that little piece there but yeah these are super cute super cute and you could put um resin on them when you finish if you wanted to or you could just use the rust-oleum and spray clear spray it that will be totally fine as well Whatever you want to do, guys. I hope this helps.